Hey everyone, welcome to this video. It's been three months since I'm learning Cinema 4D in Redshift. And I thought it might be a good time to share some of the resources I've been using past three months. So let's go. And before we get to it, thank you really much for liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. It really makes me happy that you guys like in my content. So thank you. Starting with number 10, online courses, Hellolux, MoGraphPlus.com, Domestica and many others. There are so many online courses and I might say I didn't try any of them yet. But I heard that Hellolux Redshift guide is meant to be pretty good, so maybe I will try that one. I will leave a couple links down in the description, but won't comment further since I don't really know. Number 9. Ask community. Join communities like MoGraph.com Slack, Grayscale Gorilla Discord and others. Learning from others is a way to go. Being able to talk people directly and ask them for advice is an amazing way to learn and you may also make some new friends. If you have seen my video on TV display like materials, then you know what I'm talking about. Don't be scared like me and type something in. Number 8. LinkedIn Learning. LinkedIn Learning has some awesome courses that you should definitely check out. If you have access to LinkedIn Learning, you may not know that there are awesome courses for Cinema 4D and Redshift that will keep you entertained for many hours. Try people like AJ Hasenfratz, Andy Needham or Ryan McCulley. Number 7. Skillshare. If you have access to Skillshare, then just type in Redshift and you will find some great tutorials. I recommend Redshift for Cinema 4D Masterclass by Osgur Gorgon or Don Mupasi and his Astronaut Animation. Number 6. Maxon's YouTube channel. Maxon's YouTube channel is a great source. They have over thousands of videos and I always find something interesting there. I enjoy recordings of panels during live events, they host very interesting people and they also run the 3D and motion design show. I highly recommend spending some time and searching through their channel and listening to the professionals sharing their workflow and thought process. There are also amazing 3D reels to get you pumped. Number 5. YouTubers. I really value what each YouTuber brings to the table. They all have their own teaching style, pace and the way they use the software. Rabbit hole goes deep, real deep. I will name a couple of my favorites with a brief description of what they do. I go by Zach. He likes to go into details and his tutorials are a bit longer but I love his teaching style and cool voice. Ross Mason. His tutorials are a great way to see the examples of work for the real clients and learn useful tips and tricks to achieve a professional look in Redshift. Lukash Torup has a great tutorials and I really enjoy his tutorials on dynamic flowers. Check it out. You and Me Academy. This channel goes over useful topics in the Redshift and they are really well made, thought out and easy to understand. And of course, me. I need to plug myself, right? Right? I'm just starting out and I'm very new to Redshift, but I aim to provide weekly videos and teach what I learn in Redshift myself. I hope to help anyone who is starting out and wants to work in 3D and motion design. Number 4. Redshift Forum The Redshift Forum is a great place to go when you need help with something that is urgent or almost scientific because there are a lot of knowledgeable people that can help you out. There is also general discussion, competition, hardware, scripts, tools, tips and tricks and the best things about it is the Redshift support. Number 3. Cineversity. Cineversity is a really awesome source of tutorials and full-on guides on specific subjects which are created by professional trainers. There are high quality tutorials, great quality video and sound and more importantly structure. Don't be alarmed by the older look of their website, they are very much alive. Number 2. Redshift Official Documentation. Did you read the manual? I think one of the best resources is the Redshift Official Documentation and the reasons are simple. It's well written, simple to understand and straight to the point. You can just read about Redshift math notes all day and think about what they are ready for all night. Oh my god. And number one, Grayscale Gorilla. Grayscale Gorilla is probably the best value you can get for your money. In terms of the courses, some of them feel little dated and others a little advanced, so if you are just starting out like me, you can find yourself in a weird spot of searching for knowledge all over the internet. However, I learned some of the best tricks only at Grayscale Gorilla. And plus you get the thousands of assets like materials, HDRIs, textures and not even talking about the plugins. I love the new Align plugin. It is high quality and well worth the money, especially if you manage to snatch a special annual deal. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, top 10 resources uh, for Cinema 4D and Redshift. And if I miss out on something big, please share this with me. See you in the next one.